تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن آياته خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف ألسنتكم وألوانكم إن في ذلك لآيات للعالمين صدق الله العظيم Distinguished President of the program Highly qualified judges respected teachers and dear audience i feel proud to stand before dignitaries like you with intention to speak some words on why english is important for us dear fellows language is language is our primary source of communication it's the method through which we have share our ideas and thoughts with others some people even say that Language is what separates us from animals and makes us human. There are thousands of languages in this world. Countries have their own national languages in addition to a variety of local languages in different regions. Some languages are spoken by millions of people, others by only a few thousand. English is one of the most important global languages spoken across the world. Most of the international transactions of the recent age are conducted in this term. People with the knowledge of English feel proud in the society. They leave a great impact on the people of their circles. Their works are done in any offices in no way. Such people command respect, honor and majesty everywhere. They are considered to be sophisticated among modern people. This is all thanks to the influence of English language. This language has established its rule in every field of advancement, be it technological, scientific or any other field it has left an indelible imprint upon it. English has quite a big role in day-to-day -day life. It is used in banks, railway stations, bus depots, airports, medical, private sector, educational sector, etc. English is a trade language with other countries. And students are prime learners of English because if they want to build up a good career, they have to attain good English speaking skills and confidence to face many people in interviews. Without English, it is very tough to manage in this ultra-modern world. Here I would like to enumerate a few Asian countries where English is spoken in considerable percentage. In India, 12.18% people speak English, Pakistan 49%, Nepal 46.49%, Sri Lanka 47%, Malaysia 62.57%, Bangladesh 18%. This is the case of some developing Asian countries, not to speak of European and American countries where English is their native language. Dear brethren, this is the age of science and technology. The world is changing at a traffic speed. This is all due to the scientific and technological progress which the other countries have made. If we want to keep pace with these fast-moving countries, scientific and technological research must be made in our own land. India has undertaken the gigantic task of rapidly developing its economy. And becoming a powerful country, to fulfill this, people must have up-to-date knowledge of the different branches of science. Without expert technicians, mechanics, engineers, doctors and, and scholars, considerable progress is not possible. English is the trade language. English is the storehouse of scientific knowledge. Hence, its study is of great importance for a developing country like India. India wants to be friendly with all countries. It has to explain and convince others that its point of view is well matched with them. This cannot be done without, a, without an effective medium for the exchange of ideas. 
English provides us with such a medium. This is the language which enjoys the status of an international language in the UNO. It means United Nations Organization. The discussions are carried on in this language. In fact, the majority of the countries of the world conduct their affairs in this tongue. If India wants to play its role in international matters effectively, its people must continue to study English. Dear attendees, if you consider, you will realize the importance of English in internal matter of India as well. India is a country in which people living different parts have their own languages. The regional languages are quite different from one another. The leaders and the administrators of the country cannot remain in contact with all these regions without a common language. It is not possible for everyone to know 10 or 14 languages. We do not have any common language at present except English. English is a language best suited for mentioning internal unity. If we want to crush the provincial, communal and separatist tendencies of our people, we must continue studying English. We can feel at home in any corner of the country if we know this language. If we talk of higher studies, here also we can feel the need of English. Many young persons go to foreign countries for advanced studies. They need good knowledge of English as it is the medium of teaching over there. Its importance for such scholars is indeed very great. And when it comes to preaching mission, its importance grows more and more for Muslim preachers to globalize the universal message of Islam and to generalize its sound teachings because this language has become lingua franca of the contemporary world. And with this very language, the globalization of the mission can be possible. These reasons press us to study this international language to meet our religious and social needs simultaneously. Here I conclude my talk with praise to Allah and gratitude to the audience for their all ear hearing. Thank you. تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور